hi um welcome back to the channel so let's try to look at uh, some questions under conic sections and we say uh, for the following polar equations we have to find the cartesian equation then identify and describe the graph that we have okay so before i go any further one thing that i would love to emphasize under uh, polar equations like the conversion from polar to cartesian is that don't always expect to get um, a conic section such as a circle ellipse parabola or hyperbola sometimes it can be any other <coughs> equation any other function an identity function it could be anything it could be a straight line okay so you should just be ready for for anything that you're going to get as you convert okay so let me try to highlight the tools uh, that we're really going to need as we do these conversions um, so we need to keep in mind that um, x is equals to r cos cos theta i believe we now by now we understand this then y is equals to r sin theta and if i want cos theta i can just make it the sub of the formula from this one here okay then we should also keep in mind that um, theta okay theta can be written as tan inverse okay tan inverse of y over x okay why am i saying so it's because if you look at um <clears throat> if you look at what your x is if you come and say theta is equals to if i say tan inverse okay if you look at what your y is your y is nothing but r sin what um r sin theta divide by uh divide by divide by r cos of theta okay so this means your theta is equals to um tan inverse uh, in fact let me not use theta here for for the sine and for the cos let me use another let me use for example pi uh, no no let me use alpha let's say r sine alpha then r cos cos alpha like that you observe that this and that is going to cancel so meaning you have your theta being equal to um, tan inverse of sine alpha divide by divide by cos cos alpha like that of which this it makes so sense that your tan theta okay your tan theta is just equals to uh sine sine theta in this case i'm using alpha then cos theta in this case i'm using alpha there like that of which this is very true that's where i'm getting this from so this is very basic okay so another thing that we have to keep in mind is that our um, x squared plus y squared can be written as can be equals to or is equals to r squared of which sometimes our r can be written as the square root of um, the square root of x squared plus y squared you might wonder to say why am i just picking the positive part of it is because r is just more like the the radius of a circle for example and you're talking about the radius it doesn't really matter whether it doesn't really matter where on which on which side you're pointing to or where you're coming from is always positive because it just describes the distance from the from the center of the circle to the circumference of the circle at any other point okay so now let's look at some questions uh, let's say we have um let's say you have r is equals to uh, 4 cosec cosec theta this is a polar equation let's now try to convert this to cartesian and see what we are going to get theta okay cosec theta cosec theta can be written as 1 over uh, cos 1 over 1 over sine theta okay so you can say this is going to be r is equals to 4 divided by uh, sine theta like that so if you do the cross multiplication you're going to have that your r you're going to have r sine theta okay r sine theta is equals to 4 then you know to say r sine theta is nothing but y so you're going to get y is equals to 4 and this is just a straight line which is not really difficult to graph i won't go as far as graphing this one i believe we know how to graph y is equals to 4 which is just a straight line cutting the y axis at positive 4 so let's look at another question let's say we have um r is equals to um let's say it's 7 divided by 1 minus cos cos theta this is a polar equation that we have how do we then convert this one here but before i do that um one thing i would love to do is to try to find out what type of 
um, conic section that I'm dealing with because it will make sense that I know the type of conic section that I'm dealing with from this point then after I convert it that equation that I'm going to get of course it will make sense comparing to what I'm going to get right here so considering the fact that this is supposed to be equals to EP divided by um, 1 minus E uh, cos theta meaning I need to get what my E is from that point which is what is a 1 and we want to say when eccentricity is equals to 1 it's what is a parabola that we are dealing with so I already know it's a parabola that I should get so the equation that I'm going to get at the end of the day is a what <coughs> is the equation of the parabola and since I have cos here this is oriented along the x-axis and because it's what because it's negative here it opens to the right like this so I expect to say since I have 0, 0, 0,0 at this point as my focus, my vertex should be something like uh, some negative value, let's say negative x, comma what, comma 0 in the y-axis. So whatever that we get here should be a 0. So we'll try to find out that from the equation that we are going to get. So what do we do? This multiplication is going to work here as well. So this is going to be like r multiplied by 1 minus cos, cos theta is equal to 7. So this just becomes R minus R cos theta is equal to 7. So this turns out to be, that turns out to be like you have your 1 here. Okay, not 1, but instead of using R here, I'll use this one here, which is going to be my, uh, like let's say the square root of x squared plus y squared minus R cos theta. You know that is x. This is equal to 7. So this is going to be like, I'm going to, add x on both sides so this is going to be x squared plus y squared is equals to 7 plus x and what do I do to get rid of that square root I just have to square both sides okay so we we now observe that we end up with something this is really looking interesting okay so remember we are looking for the equation of the parabola here according to the uh, observation that I made from this polar equation here so this is just going to be like um, x squared here plus y squared is equals to expanding that we're going to get x squared plus 14x plus 49 cancel out this x and that okay so what do you remain with this is going to be y squared is equals to 14x plus plus 49 okay so remember to say Okay, this that we have that I have right here is already an equation for the for the parabola. It's a parabolic equation. So how how I write it for it to appear more like a parabolic equation that we are used to seeing the one that's where we have like y squared is equals to um, let's say four px, but in this case it's going to be like y minus k uh, squared is equals to four px minus h. But I want to really go as far as being concerned about the k because I know k is equal to zero, but anyway, we can look it look look at it in that way. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to say y squared is equals to. Um, this is equals to. I'm going to force the 14 outside. I'm not really factoring out. There's a difference between factoring and what I'm doing. This is going to be 14. Then that's going to be x here plus that will be 49. So that I don't change the meaning, I'll divide by 14 here. Okay. So this right here is the equation. Of the parabola that I talked about earlier and you observe to say uh, this the vertex is not at the origin like you're going to have some value it's going to have like h comma h comma k and if you observe you're supposed to say x minus h meaning supposed to be like x minus minus 49 over 14 which makes it minus 49 over 14 comma 0 this is what I talked about when I said it's going to have like minus x comma comma 0 so there we have it. So you can try to this one. We have managed to convert. Try to graph it from this point. Okay. So now let's look at uh, perhaps the last example in this video. So um, let's say you have r sine theta. R sine theta equals um, natural of r plus natural log of cos theta. So I have like I can write this as r sine theta equals to natural log of we know the properties of natural logs these are adding each other you want to have like r cos r cos theta so this is going to be y is equals to i know this is y already 
this is equals to natural log of this is what x okay natural log of x so this is the equation that we get just as i said don't always expect expect to get conic sections sometimes it would be anything it can be a straight line but in this case the graph of this one is just um it's really a graph that is very interesting that is very very interesting so it's going to be something like um so we have that as our vertical axis and we have this as our horizontal axis so I know to say this is I'm going to have a coordinate it's going to cut the x-axis at positive 1 which is this point and it's going to start from this one this side here coming like that okay so this one right here is the graph y is equal to natural log of natural log of x and that's how you do it so is what I basically wanted to talk about in this video it's just a matter of um, knowing these few points right there they're really going to help you as you answer uh, questions related to you converting from polar equations to Cartesian equations you just have to try to make good use of this and they will really work well so thank you very much for watching and do we'll catch you in the next one